Welcome to CTV with Adam Hinchwood looking ahead to Tunbridge Angels away in the National League South. Adam, how are you feeling going into this one? Um, yeah, obviously full of confidence at the moment. The team's doing well, um, playing some good stuff. But um, yeah, just trying to maintain um, the positivity and, and try and keep that consistency to our performance. Um, you know, like I said, said to you after the game on Tuesday, I felt when they went down to 10, I was a bit disappointed with our um, mentality, but I think it's kind of natural for that to happen, um, get a bit more time on the ball and, and stuff like that. So, yeah, we'll be keen to, um, you know, put the, put the lads back into um, a bit more intensity today, uh, into training and, yeah, try and be, be ready and, and try and find that um, consistency to our performance come Saturday. And there has been plenty of consistency in the team, it's been five clean sheets out of the last six games, a little run of wins as well in the league now. It must be a really good thing for the team's confidence as well, going into an away trip. No, definitely. I think, the, like you said there, the clean sheets has, has been, been massive for us. I think the, the aggression we're showing to sort of defend our box, there's been lots of good, good blocks um, at the moment. Um, so yeah, pleased pleased with lots of elements at the moment. Um, not to say it's just about us now trying to maintain and, and see where one or two things uh, we can improve on and and look to look to be better come Saturday. Um, so yeah, really really delighted with how things are going at the moment. But you know things can quickly change, especially at this sort of level. So you know we're not going to be patting ourselves on the back too much. Um, you know what's the January's gone now, so it's a nice. Um, time to draw a line under what's happened and, and focus on what's, what we can control and that's what's coming up so yeah to start with Saturday tough game away from home um, you know Jay's got lots of know-how and knows all about how we play and what we do um, I'll be very surprised if they didn't have um, lots of eyes on our game against Dover as it's not too far away from them um, the other day so yeah they expect to know um, and they'll have a game plan for us and uh, like we will for them so yeah it's, it's now a chance to, to reset and, and go again. And they're a team in good form as well they've been unbeaten in the last four winning two of those is that a little bit more of a challenge coming up against a side that is having a good momentum going into this one as well? No yeah like I say I don't get too drawn drawn down on what the opposition are doing um, you know just try and focus on, on ourselves and um, like I say I want to see that shift in our mentality um, and yeah, be really focused and play with a lot of purpose, like we have been doing. And you know, that's what I want to uh, just focus on ourselves and and what we can control, really. Um, so that that's the sort of um, main focus for us. We won't get too drawn into what the opposition are doing. Um, you know, if they're on a good run, if they're on a bad run, I don't think it matters too much. Um, you know that games at this level there's not a lot between it um, generally so um, yeah we've just got to be make sure that we're um, you know fully at it going into this game because like I said they have confidence and, and feel they can win and, and so are we. Like you say games are quite fine margins at this level and something that can make the difference is, is strikers that are scoring goals and Ollie Pierce has been in excellent form again recently it must be a massive boost to have someone who's uh, as prolific as he is and with the amount of options you've got up front as well now. No, yeah, we've sort of really taken to, to how we're playing lately, uh, Oli. Um, yeah, Josh um, Chambers as well that can play in a deeper position or slightly higher and, you know, he's really effective. And, um, yeah, Cal, um, Ibi, David and Lewis, Miki, you've got lots of options going forward um, in that forward area. And, uh, yeah, hoping Liam Vincent won't be too far away. Um, player that can play in various positions and can score goals as he's shown against us before the season so yeah we've got got lots of options in, in the building at the moment and it's uh, really pleasing and it's, and it's good you know choosing a team is is tough at the moment and that's how any manager would want it. Just uh, looking at the players who might not be available Joe Rye uh, a slight hamstring problem what's the situation with him? Yeah, obviously it happened Tuesday, so we'll assess, assess that tonight. See how he's how he's uh, reacted to it. Um, hoping it's not too high um, a grade of hamstring tear. Um, but yeah, we'll look at it and assess it. But you know, the initial signs will be a couple of weeks. Um, so yeah, opportunities for for JB or Dan Bowery or you know whoever to to come in and and um, 
you know, when these guys have been called upon before, um, you know, they've done really well. Hoping to get a bit more of a session out of Tutty today, um, so he won't be too far away. Um, and like I say, have got Liam as well, that's going to be available soon as well.